What is up everybody, Yvonne here, and today we're gonna cover one of the most powerful platforms for communication out there, Loom. Loom can do wonders in many different areas, and that ranges from doing cold outreach to even helping with the training for you guys' own team. Pretty much with that, the platform allows you guys to record your screen, your voice, your video. There are so many different channels you can send your videos through, which makes the platform really easy to pick up. So today, we're gonna be covering the platform's features and go over pricing and see exactly if it's gonna be the right move for you guys. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, if you guys do want to follow along with everything that I'm doing, check out the exclusive link down below for an exclusive trial of the platform so you can try it for free. Now, once you guys are on that link, we have two options here for us. We can either get a Chrome extension or just use the browser version. Just for example purposes, I'm going to go with the browser version, but for everyday activities, I usually opt in for the Chrome one. So let's go ahead and get Loom for free. And we're going to sign up with our email here. Let's go ahead and sign up with this email. Press continue. You guys are going to enter in your guys' first and last name. And let's set a password here. Boom. Ready to rock. Alrighty. Now we got to verify our email here. Alrighty, now once you guys have clicked on the link in the email, this should bring you to this screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and select for personal projects. That's my use for Loom. My workspace is gonna be Yvonne's workspace. And for now, I don't have any teammates to invite. So note now. Now as you guys see, there's gonna be two options here for us. There's gonna be the Chrome extension or the desktop app. For most of my day, I use the Chrome extension. However, when I wanna see all the videos in one centralized place, that's usually when I go to the app. So I'd go ahead and install both of them as that's gonna make your life a lot easier. Let's go ahead and continue to the workspace so we can actually start making some videos and we'll go ahead and explore on our own and we're ready to start recording alrighty now once you guys are in the platform here's how it's gonna look like first you want to make sure you allow the user of you guys's camera microphone and boom as you guys see my face is displayed right over here and if I want to move it I'm just doing it just like so right and your end user is gonna see it like that as well for example if you guys are recording a video for a client and you want your face to be in the top left corner just place it right there and right over here on the right hand side there's gonna be multiple options here for us we can either record our full screen a window a specific tab or even just your camera i currently don't have an external camera attached so i'm just using the one that's built into my computer but if you guys do you can also connect an external camera to it as well and same thing applies for a microphone as you guys see here i have three different options and i can select any one of those and that's where the sound is going to come through and for the effects side of things all you got to do if you want to add like a background behind you guys press effects right over here you can either select a blur or a specific color and it's going to add it right behind you guys now you guys might be asking yourself hey how the heck do i use this platform like what's its for. Now, for me personally, I've had a ton of experience with the platform, mostly for sales efforts. I myself work as an account executive at one of the top tech companies and we use Loom daily. Majority of what it can be used for is to either send tutorials to you guys' own teammates or to send videos to you guys' prospects. Additionally, something else that we use the platform for is any type of coaching. Whenever you guys run into a hurdle, there's a high chance that someone else has experienced the same type of issue. So what my manager does a lot of is that they send me a Loom explaining of how to solve a specific problem. That that way I can have a video solution on how to solve that problem, which makes my life a lot easier. And I can actually access that video at any time of the day. So let's go ahead and record a quick little video. Start recording here and let's go ahead and start recording. Start recording, confirm what to share. And once we confirm what to share, our recording is gonna start. As you guys see right over here, the clock is ticking here. And at any point I can just go ahead and stop it. Here we go. I'm gonna wave to the camera here and another camera right there in front of me. So I'll just go ahead and press finish. And as you guys see, Loom has a ton of AI features that can actually summarize exactly what you talked about. With that information, we can write a document, create a bug report, or even write a message to the team. And if you're someone like me that says a bunch of filler words, you guys can also go ahead and activate this option right over here, or even remove silences. You can edit your guys' video inside of the platform, add a link, or even add an audio variable to your guys' video. As you guys see right over here, you can actually see how many views your video has received. This is going to be really useful for sales because you guys can actually see how many times your prospects are actually opening up your video and what percentage of time are they actually watching it for. Because if they're watching the entire video, three or four times, that's going to be a really good sign that they're actually engaged with your guys' content. And you can see all the activity right over here as folks can go ahead and leave comments, but this is more used towards training purposes. Again, you can also see a transcript, see different views and where they came from. And my favorite part is whenever we press share, we can go ahead and send an embedded version of it via email or Slack where there's literally a thumbnail attached to it. As you guys see, the thumbnail here is going to be live or like animated of some sort. So it's going to show the first couple frames of the video. So make sure you guys look very energetic and excited the very first part. You can also share this on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, or email, or you can go ahead and select this copy link and send it to whoever you guys wanted to. The most important thing that you guys got to keep in mind with these videos is to make sure to keep them concise. You guys got to remember, it kind of depends on what purpose you guys are using it for, but usually the shorter, the better. So if you guys can get to a point in a much faster way, this is going to be golden. And right over here, you guys can go ahead and name the video, whatever you guys want it to be, or you can even add a variable where it can be customized to his person's name, company name, or even a variable attached to it 
a person. This is going to be really useful as you guys send out videos at scale. And if you guys want to take a look at all your videos, all you got to do is just go to your library and boom, as you guys see right over here, our video that we just did popped up. Now, in terms of the plans that are available, for most of you guys that are watching this video, I am going to suggest a startup plan, which is going to be completely free. The reason behind it is that it has a ton to offer. Inside of your guys' library, you can store up to 25 videos and each video can be up to five minutes. And all the key features are included as well. So it really gets the job done. However, if you guys do have a more sophisticated video sending strategy, I would opt in for either the business or the enterprise plans. With the business plan, you can have unlimited video, unlimited recording length, and all the AI features that we talked about. It's really nice because from the business point of view, you can remove Loom branding or even embed links in your guys' video, which you guys want. And you guys can also effortlessly import and download your guys' videos, which makes it really easy to use. And as you guys grow and you need the platform to be a little bit more customized or even have a Salesforce integration, that's when I would opt in for the enterprise plan. And there you guys have it. That was a high level overview over the Loom platform in 2024. It can be used for so many different things, ranging from sales to coaching. So the power is really in your guys' hands. If you guys' business involves any type of communication, Loom can have a very tremendous positive effect. And if you guys do want to try out the platform completely for free, there is going to be an exclusive link down in the description below. Remember that on this channel, we make videos about different tools and platforms to help you start and grow your guys' business. And if you guys got some value out of this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Till next time, peace. Thank you.